The next step is to actually physically place our structural flooring system. So again, I'm in the project browser on my structural plan 001 first floor, and I'm going to place my structural slab over here. So if I zoom in now, like we did in the previous video, we're going to place it in this area here over the little balcony mezzanine area here. Okay, so we go to the structure tab, go to the floor icon here and click on the flyout in the structure panel and we select floor structural. Now in the previous video, the structural floor type that I selected in the properties palette was this one, the 160 millimeter concrete with chorus com floor 70. Now what you've got to look at here is the actual system itself, because you want to sit this on top of the beams that is supporting that structural flooring system. The way to find the depth of the floor that you need is to go into the type here and then just check the default thickness. It's there, 215 millimeters in this case. I'll just click on cancel now and you'll notice I've already set the height offset there to 215. Now the default is normally zero. So make sure that you put that thickness in there. Otherwise, what will happen is that slab will actually end up aligned with the tops of the beams. You don't want that to happen. You want it on top of, supported by the beams itself. So let's have a look at that now. It's doing room bounding. You don't need to worry about that too much at the moment. What we'll do is we'll click on apply and make sure that that 215 offset is in place. We now go over here to the modify create floor boundary tab. And as you can see, we've got the usual tick and cross to confirm when we finished. Over here in the draw panel, I want you to select this one, pick support. You're going to pick the beams or walls that are going to support your structural flooring system. So you click there. And the nice thing about this is I can go in and I can actually select the members, the steel members that are going to support my floor system. So I'll go and select them now. So I'm going to go to this one and to this one here, this one here this one here. Remember, we've got our cantilevered beam coming out here as well. So our floor at the moment is bounded by those pink lines. Now I'm going to hit escape just the once to make sure that we don't pick any more supports. And then I'm going to go and click on the green tick. Now I've deliberately clicked on the green tick with errors. So if we look now, lines cannot intersect each other. The highlighted lines currently intersect. So that's that vertical orange line there, horizontal orange line there. So I'll click on continue, zoom in, and just pan across slightly. And then I'll hit escape just to make sure that I select the lines and don't place any more lines based on my support members, my steelwork. So I click on that line there, use the little bubble, click and drag, get that lined into that endpoint snap there. So that all ties in nice and neatly. Let me just zoom out again and pan. There's our area that we want to be bounded by the floor structural system. I click there on the tick, and again, I've got lines must be in closed hoops. Notice the orange dots. So my lines aren't actually closing to allow that structural flooring system to go in. So I click on continue again, zoom in, and make sure you get the line. So you make sure you hit escape enough times. If I click on that little bubble there, drag it into that point there, it ties in, hit escape to deselect that line. And then I want this line here. Again, click on the bubble, drag it up until you get the endpoint snap, hit escape to deselect. If I zoom out now, everything is bounded. So hopefully there won't be any more errors. So if I click on the tick now, there you go. You can see the bounding lines there. There's my slab direction. Can you see with the arrows? And my slab is highlighted there. It tells me what type of flooring I'm using, and there's the offset. So let's just go and visualize that now in the 3D view. So I'll drag down here in the project browser, find my 3D view. It's right there, double click it. And you'll see my floor is highlighted there, so I'll zoom in. And where I've done that offset, if I just pan slightly now, can you see that my slab, my structural floor system, the slab and the com floor, are now sitting on top of the beams, which is where you want it to be. You want it supported by those beams there. And obviously you've got this beam inside and the flooring system inside. So that is now supporting your structural floor system made up of concrete and that chorus com floor 70. So that's how you place a floor slab, a structural floor framing system slab in Revit structure.